Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim Dow for Living with MS in Tenerife, and it is Monday the 7th of uh, February 2022, and it's a month since I started my lifestyle change, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what I'm going to do. So the last month, I just changed my lifestyle. That means I don't go out drinking every day. I don't drink whilst I'm cooking, and I cut myself down to half a bottle of wine between us when we do have wine and we don't have wine during the week only at the weekends now so we're probably going through either one or one and a half bottles a week where it was usually three or four and i was usually drinking a couple of pints on the way home from shopping plus a couple of pints takeaway and uh, sometimes even more for the evening so i've stopped doing that i'm drinking tim and tonics and then i found out the tonic was getting on me giving me reflux so i'm doing lime and fizzy water now which is looks pretty good so uh, that's the lifestyle change the second part of the lifestyle change was to eat half of what I was eating so I was actually eating quite a lot was cooking for four and eating three portions and now I'm cooking for two or cooking for four and freezing half and so I'm eating half of what I used to at least um, two meals a day breakfast or brunch and dinner and no snacks in between uh, sometimes i will go out for a pint but not every day maybe on a thursday or a friday freaky friday let's say or meet up monday i'll have a couple of beers but not like i used to so it's getting pretty good so the next step is so that was a lifestyle change so the next step is counting the calories so this doesn't mean that you're going to eat less or eat healthy or anything like that it just means taking stock of what you're actually stuffing in your gob which means I count the calories of the things I eat so I've got a month's worth of data now so I can work that out and then for the next month I'm going to count the calories uh, again so that means we'll have at the end of two months we'll have the amount of calories that I have uh, consumed then we'll start swapping things out so high calorific content for lower calorific content or maybe just taking some stuff off, you know, like just don't have this or don't have that. And so cut the calories by, uh, well, it depends on how much I eat, but by at least a half. So trying to cut the calories in half. So first of all, half what I used to eat and then half of what the calories are. If that's possible without, uh, what's the word? I don't want to compromise on flavor or quality of life. That's the most important thing because that's the reason that I don't finish or I don't stay on a diet. Now, a typical diet is you'll do something for, let's say, a while and then um, you'll stop. So this is going to be the lifestyle change. So that means it's going to be for, for the rest of my life uh, until the next lifestyle change, of course. So that's the next step. So once I've done that, um, we should be then looking for two months at cutting down the calories. So that gives us four months in all. And then the final two months of the, of the half year are going to be swapping out items for healthier items. So that's like the end of the thing. So once I've done all the work and we've changed the lifestyle and we're used to eating less, we're used to eating less calories, we know how to make flavor out of low calorie foods, uh, then we'll start swapping stuff out, uh, like eating less meat and uh, eating fresher stuff. I mean, we eat fresh now. We don't eat packet stuff. But, uh, you know, really, really look at um, bio and uh, organic food and stuff like that. So that'll be another thing to look at. We're not going to go vegetarian or vegan or anything like that. But Chris wants to cut down on the meat anyway that we're eating. And uh, I think it's a good idea to just eat high welfare meat which is expensive. So if you're going to eat the expensive meat, then you should do it with respect and not very often. Okay, so uh, today is Meetup Monday. So we'll be going out in a couple of hours to the El Jable and we're going to meet um, a couple and two guys. I uh, haven't looked to see if anybody else has registered. If you're on the island and you're watching this and you want to come down tonight, we'll be there from 5.30 to about 7.30. And uh, you get the 473 from anywhere on the coast to Kayao Salvaki. It always comes through our village. 
and we'll see you there at 5.30 or after. We go live at 5.55. We stay on for about half an hour and uh, interview whoever's there who wants to be interviewed. And then we eat. So that should be good. And we'll see you in a month on this one. This is Tim Down for Living with MS in Tenerife signing off. Bye. <laughs>